What's up guys, my name is Ace, and it looks like the leaks and the rumors were true. Modern Warfare 2's campaign remaster is coming tomorrow. So the trailer for this leaked on the PlayStation Store in Germany, and who knows, maybe by the time this video is live, the trailer will actually be officially launched. But at least at the time of recording, it's just leaked at this point, but you can see the entire trailer and a bunch of screenshots and stuff from that. And like I said, it is confirmed to be coming tomorrow. We also got a price tag on this, at least in euros at the time of recording this video, at 24.99 euros. And this means it's likely going to be about 28 to 30 US dollars. It also looks like the leaks were correct that this will be coming with a bundle within Modern Warfare, which is the classic Ghost bundle, which comes with the classic Ghost skin, as well as an M4 blueprint that looks like the Modern Warfare 2 M4, and a bunch of other Modern Warfare 2 related items. Now, gameplay-wise, just looking at the trailer, even though it's mainly cutscenes, it shows a couple little snippets of actual, like, first-person gameplay without the heads-up display. And as far as I can tell, I don't think this is running on the new Infinity Ward engine that Modern Warfare is running on. I think this is running on a very similar engine to what we saw with Modern Warfare Remastered. And that would follow suit with the leaks that we've been getting over the years that they've actually had this campaign remaster done for a couple years now. And they've just been trying to find the right timing and the right method of releasing this. And apparently that timing is finally now. Now, I could be completely wrong on that. Maybe this is actually running on the new engine, but just looking at the trailer, it doesn't quite look like it's the brand new engine. Now, personally, I don't think it's really a big deal whether or not it's running on the newest version of the engine or the version from a couple years ago. In either case, we're still going to be seeing a pretty big jump in graphical fidelity here. And I think the main draw to this anyway is just that nostalgia factor. Even though I still have Modern Warfare 2 laying around somewhere, I'm honestly just not interested in dusting off the old PS3 or Xbox. I can't even remember which console I initially played Modern Warfare 2 on. But in either case, I'm not going to go dig that out just so I can play through the Modern Warfare 2 campaign again. So I am actually quite interested in seeing this campaign remastered, and I will be buying this tomorrow. A big part of that is honestly just for the ghost skin within Modern Warfare. I think that skin looks awesome. I really like the original ghost skin, and I definitely would have been willing to spend about 20 bucks just to get that skin by itself anyways. So the extra 8 to $10 or whatever it's going to end up costing to also get the campaign remastered, Sign me up. I'm excited to play through it again. It's been so many years since I played Modern Warfare 2's campaign, and as I was watching the trailer, it was bringing back a lot of memories, and I realized just how much I forgot about the Modern Warfare 2 campaign. So yeah, I'm excited to play it. I'm sure I'll just play through it once and then never touch it again, but I think it's kind of cool that they're bringing this in here. And also, it seems like the value is pretty good there. If you play Modern Warfare and you want that ghost skin and all of the stuff that comes with that, I think bundling it like that was a great idea instead of just selling it as a standalone sort of a thing. And that's pretty much it for today's really quick video. Of course, I'd like to know in the comments section below, what do you guys think about this campaign remaster, and will you be picking it up tomorrow? If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated, and don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.